I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I'm going to demonstrate how to make this cute little poncho. Now this goes up over your head and it has a boat neck style opening. This is not difficult to do and I'm going to show you a different way to finish off your seam where you do not need a serger or even do a zigzag stitch on your raw edges. As far as the fringe goes, this is really easy to do, not difficult at all. So let's get started. This particular fabric that I'm using was purchased from Joanne Fabrics and Crafts and it's called Plaid Attudes. So P-L-A-I-D-I T-U-D-E-S. All right, so you'll find it in the section where all of the clothing fabric is. So this is a very loose weave, and to find out if your fabric that you're choosing is a loose weave, you just wanna pull on the threads, and when they easily come out, then that's the kind of fabric that you need. When you purchase your fabric and it's on the bolt, your selvage edges are together and it's kind of a finished edge. So you want to leave it that way. So, and also, if you're getting a plaid fabric, make sure the stripes in the plaid are lined up together. So line up all of those stripes, the plaids, and then keep it folded like this. Then you're going to bring your raw edges, bring the other end over, and you're folding it in half so that you can find the center. Always take your time when you're doing this. Then take a straight pin and put it right there in this center fold. Now unfold your fabric. And make again, make sure your fabric is really smoothed out. Everything's even. And I'm using a rotary cutter and a rotary cutting ruler. And I'm gonna put the edge of my ruler right here where that pin is to indicate where the center is. Once you've got everything lined up and take the pin out of the way, then go ahead and cut the fabric in half. Now bring those two sections and place them on top of each other. Now I'm gonna turn it to where the selvage edges are right here. Now I'm left-handed, so of course you'd have to reverse everything if you're right-handed. And I'm gonna trim the selvage edge off. So place your ruler on there. Try to keep it as straight as possible. And then cut the selvage edges off. Okay, I'm gonna take one of them off. Now I'm gonna set it aside. Now this was the selvage edge down here that we just cut off. So now I'm gonna unfold this and turn it this way to where now I've got one selvage to my left, sel the old selvage edge to my left side, one to my right side. The next step that you're going to do is you're going to pull the threads out on three edges. So the, the two edges that were your selvage edges, you're gonna pull threads off of that. You're also gonna pull the selvage edge off of one of the other long edges. One, you will not pull the threads off. Just remember that. The reason why I'm pulling the threads out is to create a fringe. You can make your fringe as wide as you want, but I recommend you do at least one inch wide of fringe. And all you do is you just can start by taking a straight pin and you can just pull on the threads and begin pulling them out. And you go all the way down to the other end and you just keep pulling them until you get the width of fringe that you want. Again, remember you're only doing this on three of the edges. When you're done, if you're making a one inch uh, width fringe, this is about how much of the threads you should have in a pile there. Here's the fringe on mine, and mine measures about one inch width on all three sides. 
On the edge that does not have the fringe, you're going to fold it over a quarter of an inch and press. And you're going to do that on both of your pieces. Now you want to bring your pieces together, front sides together. Find your center, and the best way to find your center is just to fold it in half and put a pin there. Then de determine how large you want your opening. Mine is about 15 inches because you're going to be pulling this one over your head. And then place a pin on each side of the opening. So here was my center. So I went out about seven and a half inches from center and placed my first pin. Continue pinning across, then back stitch always on each side of your opening and stitch three eighths of an inch seam all the way down on each side of your opening. On the back side, you're going to be pressing your seam. So you've already folded this edge over a quarter of an inch in a previous step. Now you're going to keep it folded and open the seam and then press it open. At your opening, you're going to do the same thing. Just leave that one edge, fold it over, fold it over again and press and do it on both sides of the opening. Now stitch right on the edge of that folded edge and you're just going to keep going all the way along and including where your opening is. Stitch right along that folded edge all the way over to the opposite end and do the same thing on the other side of the seam. Stitch on the folded edge all the way across. I hope you learned something new today. Now for other clothing project videos, check below your YouTube screen for the video links. And also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and make sure you check out my Facebook page. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time and happy sewing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on the thumbs up button. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Click on the bell so you can receive notifications about my latest videos. I'm Cheryl and this is Scotty and this is Manny. See you next time and happy sewing!